know, there's there's something to be said for living in a place like LA. Um, it's just it's it's a melting pot, and so many. I mean, when it comes to not only like races and ethnicity, but just faiths and the way that people have grown up and live their life, and it's just it was eye opening. Um, how extreme I think everybody was in their opinions. There wasn't really a lot of middle of the road. And so, you know, you have these people that are very strong believers, but then you have these people that they just can't believe it. You know, they're like, you must be such an idiot. Like, how can you do that? And I will never forget one day being on a set and one girl just made an off color comment. Um, oh, I, you know, I went to church last, or I was with my church group or something. And literally people on the set, their eyes turn and they're like, I never thought you were that dumb. You go to church? And it's just like this poor girl was just, I mean, attacked and everyone's like, you, I didn't know you were like that. And I, you know, I mean, bless her heart, because that must have been, you know, you can be, you can be so strong in what you believe, but we're humans, like you said. And it's, you know, when you feel like under attack and it's out of the blue and you're not, you're not prepared, it can be really scary. And I think that exists, that extreme opinion is um, what's very, what was very hard about LA. And I mean, being, um, being a young woman, there are not a lot of roles that are really different and strong women roles unless you're Meryl Streep and you know you're getting these amazing parts but most of the time it's you know the girl is kind of there as like the object that the guy is trying to get the whole time and you know um, I mean there are exceptions and you know there's a lot of great people doing um, unique things writing their own scripts making their small films that are you know um, trying to counter that image but I think for um, for me personally it just it wasn't really something I saw myself committing my heart and my life to and you know I had I had fun I had some great experiences um, I worked on as an extra on some shows and and I was on Grey's Anatomy for about a year and a half and I mean that was that was amazing a great learning experience some nice people involved but it wasn't something was missing and I didn't know what that something was until um, a couple years ago at Christmas I was um, singing with like my church and our Christmas concert and from that I had some opportunities to sing some backup vocals and I said Really? Like, I mean, I, I love singing, but I've never really taken it seriously. And then after that, I was encouraged just to pray and think about, like, you know, God's obviously, He's given you a love for music, and He's given you, you know, a semblance of a talent. And, you know, what's what's wrong with kind of running with that? And I just was like, well, it sounds crazy. You know, I've never, I've never even thought about that before. And prayed about it. I mean, literally, probably took about two months to make that decision. And then as soon as I did, um, doors just started opening. Like... Uh, nothing else, I mean, nothing I could have planned could have given me the opportunities that I've had in just, you know, a little over a year with doing the new album and going out and meeting people and just seeing, talking to people, seeing what role God's playing in their life and where, where they feel like they're missing out, where they're missing that connection. And it's just, it's, it's, it's a kind of, it's a kind of satisfaction in doing something that I'm, is actually making a difference. And I've just, you know, I, my own relationship with God has gotten so much closer since I've done this because I'm learning I have to give up more to Him. And I'm kind of, when stuff happens, you know, I'll spend a day crying about it because I'm a girl and that's what we do. But then afterward, I can look at it and say, why did this happen? Like, what did God want me to learn out of it? And take that and, and run with it. And, you know, it, it's going to happen again. I mean, I'm not like, well, I was sad about that once. I'll never be sad. No, I mean, <laughs> that's not realistic. But, um, you know, and if, if my songs can kind of, give people that encouragement and give people that, that hope, then I mean, then I consider it completely successful. And today, actually, um, I've, I'm pretty new at this, like I was saying, I had my first experience with um, a young guy accepting Christ after my set. And it was just, you know, and it, it just, it stopped. It stopped my world and I said, this is why I'm doing this. Like, this is amazing just to be a part of that. And he just wanted to tell me about like his life and what led him to that moment. And it's just it's just remarkable and I'm like you know what no matter if I was in a movie that made 50 million dollars yeah it'd be great I could have a house but that one moment of talking to that kid it just I mean it gives me shivers even just now talking about it it's you know I would I would take that any day and you know God definitely has a path and you know I don't see I don't see the finish line yet but I think that's that's what's beautiful about it is there's so many there's so many ways to go and so many ways that music can reach people on a different level so